There aren't many dairy farmers who can brag about the fact that their cow manure doesn't smell. There aren't many dairies in Oregon that can provide enough electricity from cow manure to power 300 homes a day. The American dairy industry is committed to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 25% by the year 2020. Lockmead Dairy found a way to reduce its greenhouse gas emission by 20% already and produce electricity at the same time. And wait until you see what the same dairy farm is doing with solar power. At Lockmead Dairy just outside Junction City, a new manure digester, a first of its kind in the world, is creating power. Dealing with manure has always been a hassle and it's, it's not a hassle anymore. That's Buzz Gibson. His family started Lockmead Dairy back in the 40s. Lockmead produces milk, ice cream, and all kinds of dairy and non-dairy products. With 1,100 cows on the property, 700 of them milk three times a day, a farmer ends up with a lot of cow manure. Lockmead has always used the manure to fertilize the fields to help grow more food for the cows. In 2010, Lockmead took reusing, renewing, and recycling to a whole new level. All the feed we grow, put through the cows, get the milk, the manure goes in the tank, we, we make methane gas off of it, and we're able to use the solids for bedding and the liquid for fertilizer. Uh, it's totally recycled, everything is recycled. So let's step back and show you how this works. The manure and other organic matter are flushed out of the barns into the tanks. The two big tanks behind me, each hold 485,000 gallons, and the small one here holds around 200,000 gallons. Heat from the engine is used to warm the tanks to 75 degrees, which creates the right environment for the bacteria to produce the methane gas. We're pulling gas 24 hours a day, seven days a week, off all three tanks. It goes into the container. There it's cooled and compressed and goes into the engine, which is designed for methane, burning methane. And the engine goes around and turns the alternator, which makes electricity, and that's all sold on the grid to EPUD. And uh, a lot of this power that's created here, we use, the rest of it goes on down the line. Once the methane is harvested, the remaining manure is separated into solids and water. The water is stored in lagoons for spring and summer crop fertilization, and the solids? This right here is uh, sawdust from our bedding and undigested feed, which is what manure is. And uh, it went through the digester for seven days. Then we took out the water, and uh, now we're storing it, composting it for bedding. Revolution Energy Systems, or RES, out of Washington, D.C., owns the power plant. Lockmead leases the land to the company, provides the manure, and uses some of the power for the dairy. They have the same screen back in Washington, D.C., the gals monitor, and they, they know the temperature, the pressure, and this thing has a lot of safety devices on it, so something can't happen. The plant operates 24-7. Making electricity and eliminating a lot of the odors from the dairy. This is efficiency at its best. To be able to take cow manure and make a product that everybody needs every day, electricity. And uh, it's made for just pennies. Every kilowatt just, just takes a penny or two to make it. And uh, to be able to create 3.2 million kilowatt hours in the last couple of years, uh, pretty phenomenal. In other parts of the world, manure digesters are common, but this new process at Lockmead Dairy in Junction City is the first of its kind in the world. From poo to power in 48 hours, that's what I like to say. Another way Lockmead Dairy is generating electricity is doing so directly from the sun by using solar cells installed on the processing plant and 14 of their Dairy Mart stores. Right now, there are three manure digesters like this one in Oregon and three more on the drawing board. There's no reason why every dairy in America can't have a digester. Lockmead continues to look for new and innovative ways to save energy and protect the environment.